Are you tired of your cat turning your furniture into a personal scratching post? It's a common problem many cat owners face. Your beloved feline friend, whether they're a domestic short hair, an American short hair, or a unique tortoiseshell tabby, has a natural instinct to scratch. Why do they do this, you might ask? Well, there are several reasons. First and foremost, scratching is a way for cats to mark their territory. Those sharp claws leave visible marks and a unique scent, letting other cats know that this is their domain. Secondly, scratching also works as a fantastic full-body workout for our feline friends. It helps them stretch their muscles and keep fit. Who knew your kitty was such a fitness enthusiast? Lastly, but by no means least, scratching allows cats to maintain their nails. It helps remove the dead outer layer of their claws, keeping them sharp and ready for any impromptu play sessions. So, scratching isn't just a destructive behavior, it's a crucial part of a cat's daily routine. Now the million dollar question is, how can we solve this problem without stifling our feline friend's natural instincts? Let's dive in. The first step in preventing your cat from scratching your furniture is to provide alternatives. Now if you're wondering what kind of alternatives we're talking about, let's delve into the world of scratching posts and cat trees. These are more than just toys for your feline friends. They are essential tools that can help save your precious furniture from the wrath of their sharp little claws. There is an array of scratching posts available in the market today. You can choose from simple ones made of cardboard to more durable ones wrapped in sisal. There are even carpeted options for those who want to give their cats a touch of luxury. But remember, it's not just about having a scratching post. It's about having it in the right place. If your cat has a favorite chair or corner of the sofa that they love to scratch, place the new scratching post nearby. Cats are creatures of habit and convenience. If they have an appropriate place to scratch that's within easy reach, they're more likely to use it instead of your furniture. But how do you get them to use the scratching post, you ask? Well, there are a few tricks you can use. One of the most effective ways is to use catnip. A little sprinkle of this magical herb on the scratching post can make it irresistible to most cats. Another way is to play with your cat near the scratching post. Use their favorite toy to lead them to the post. Once they see how much fun it is to dig their claws into it, they'll be hooked. Remember, it's important to be patient and persistent. It might take a while for your cat to break their old scratching habits and embrace the new ones. But with the right strategy and a little bit of luck, you can help your cat make the transition smoothly. Once your cat has a desirable place to scratch, the next step is to make your furniture less appealing, and we'll talk about that in the next scene, so stay tuned. To dissuade your cat from scratching your furniture, there are a few tricks you can employ. One of these is using deterrent sprays or sticky tape on your furniture. Cats typically dislike the feel of sticky substances on their paws, so applying a bit of this on your furniture can help discourage them. Another method is to cover your furniture with a sheet or use cat-proof covers. These are usually made of materials that cats find less appealing to scratch. But remember, it's not just about making the furniture less appealing, it's equally important to make the alternatives more appealing. So when your feline friend chooses the scratching post over your beloved couch, be sure to shower them with praise and maybe even a treat or two. Positive reinforcement can go a long way in helping your cat understand what behaviors are acceptable and which ones are not. By providing alternatives and making furniture less appealing, you can save your furniture from your cat's claws. Remember, patience is key. It may take time for your cat to change its behavior, but with consistency, you can make it happen. Happy Cat Parenting!